Why are many Australian birds aggressive? Australia is known to have some of the most aggressive and even deadliest birds in the world. In the next few minutes, we shall examine some of the reasons for this aggressive behaviour. And firstly, there is territorial aggression. Many of Australia's birds are territorial, spending most of their lives roaming the same geographical area of land or water throughout their entire life. Most territorial birds learn from a young age to respect the foraging areas and boundaries of other birds within their own species. This is important in order to ensure that an adequate food supply is always available and their family is kept safe in close proximity. Many of the calls you hear birds make each morning, in addition to communicating with their family, are also to mark their territory, to ward off birds in adjoining areas and territories. The Eastern Whipbird is an excellent example of this. The Laughing Kookaburra will mark out the perimeter of their territory first thing each morning and throughout the day will occasionally call if they see an impending intruder. These Pied Karawong appear to be challenging territorial rights as their grieving partners look on. Only one pair of breeding birds will be permitted nesting rights to the designated area where they will be able to feed their chicks from sufficient surrounding nests of smaller nesting birds. Magpie couples and clans are also known to fight over territories, sometimes removing a family by force from their established area and making it their own. Secondly, there's nesting aggression. Thankfully, this is usually only seasonal and mainly spring and summer while birds are nesting and fledging. Here we see birds of different species that normally share territories and tolerate each other suddenly becoming aggressive and attack these same birds that enter their protection zone. This is when we see birds such as magpies, willy wagtails, masked lapwings, for example, swing into action, not only attacking or mobbing as it's known, other bird species, but in some cases even humans and other animals that intrude into the exclusion zone which each bird has mentally marked out. An attacking bird may give the call to other family members and in some cases other bird species to join in mobbing and attacking an intruder until it leaves. Birds that are normally placid become bold and aggressive toward any bird or animal that perceived to be a threat to the nest. You may have been attacked or even injured by swooping magpies during spring nesting season. When you see small birds such as Willy Wagtail, known for its boldness chasing away much larger birds such as magpies and kookaburras, you can be sure there is a nest in the near vicinity. Thirdly, feeding aggression. Unlike territorial aggression, which is against birds of the same species, feeding aggression is mainly against birds of different species to their own that have come into their feeding area. Many bird species, in particular the honey eaters, including miners, wattle birds and fryer birds, become very aggressive when there is both abundance and shortage of nectar trees or in blossom, in a, or available lerps known as bird candy in eucalypt trees. In some species the need to feed becomes feed the greed, which exacerbates their aggressive behaviour toward individuals of lesser violent species dining with them. For example, the noisy and bell miner form coalitions of birds to guard their feeding area and continuously attack or mob those encroaching on their food sources until they leave their feeding area. Fourthly, nuptial aggression. Now this form of aggression is less common, but does occur in particular among species that pair for life, such as those of the rainbow lorikeet, the Australian black swan and the Australian wood duck where the male protects his female from an intruding male that seeks to mate with his in-heat female. Males are on the lookout at the breeding time of year to accommodate this natural urge. For monogamous birds that faithfully partner for life, this can become a problem where unwelcome advances by other males summon her partner to defend his nuptial rights. In conclusion, the bird world is not unlike our own. Birds have boundaries and limits similar to our own. Bird aggression caused by bird bullies, such as the noisy miner, has recently been documented to be a major concern contributing factor to stress, death, and nesting failure of less aggressive honey eaters and partilotes. We need to be careful 
when viewing our native birds that we do not cause them undue stress by trying to approach them or their nests. We can help minimize their stress levels by viewing them from a distance through binoculars.